Lyme disease can be divided into two categories. The first is an acute infection, the second being a chronic disease. Acute Lyme is a infectious process that occurs shortly after being bitten by a tick and involves the growth of bacteria within the human body. It has characteristic symptoms. These are typically uh, pain or swelling in a joint and is often associated with a rash in the skin. When one develops chronic Lyme, the symptoms typically develop over time, months to years later. These symptoms are essentially autonomic in nature. They include things such as fatigue, cognitive impairment, difficulty with sleep, difficulty with thermal regulation, abnormalities in the function of the gastrointestinal tract or the generative urinary tract. Chronic Lyme is not a universally accepted diagnosis within the modern medical community. Treatment, however, has been based upon the long-term use of multiple antibiotics. During the administration of these antibiotics, many patients do respond and see improvements in their symptoms. However, this may be short-lived and the symptoms return shortly thereafter. The TVAM procedure is a new therapy developed for the treatment of autonomic dysfunction. Patients with chronic Lyme disease typically have autonomic dysfunction. And in many cases, the symptoms are predominantly autonomic in nature. Up until now, patients with chronic Lyme have been traditionally treated with multiple courses of antibiotic therapy. The goal of that treatment is to eradicate the organism. Alternatively, the uh, infection can be dealt with by making the host inhospitable. By balancing the body and restoring autonomic tone, the organism is less likely to reproduce and survive within the body itself. When patients talk to me about the TVAM procedure, uh, two very common questions come up. The first of all, they want to know what is the chance of success of the procedure. And secondly, they want to know if it is successful, how long will that last? We've looked at a series of patients recently in preparation for a uh, publication in a medical journal. From that, we learned that the majority of patients, over 90% of patients, have an immediate response in autonomic symptoms, in particular, the symptoms of fatigue, brain fog, and thermal regulation. Additionally, we found that other autonomic symptoms also respond in the majority of patients, things such as gastrointestinal function or urinary symptoms. Additionally, patients have improved quality of sleep, and some patients experience a particular type of headache which is known to be associated with autonomic dysfunction. That's a headache that occurs when you wake up that also responds well with this treatment. The durability of the procedure uh, is generally speaking long-term in the sense that we have patients that uh, at, at analysis of another population for a study at six months have maintained benefits or slight improvements. There is a population, however, of approximately 20% over the last three years that we consistently see have a return of their symptoms within two months' time. There is, alternatively, the uh, majority of patients having the benefits going beyond six months. In fact, we have some patients that are now three years out who continue to have improvements in their symptoms.